locally and internationally. Many news reports and programs have been broadcast across radio stations and television stations in regards to domestic violence and the loss of life that it poses and presents for the persons involved. Domestic violence is rampant across the world and a large number of victims are women. We react with outrage and we are shocked when one partner causes injury to another, which results in loss of life or bodily injury. It is a chronic problem, both in the Caribbean and in other international countries. These problems arise as a result of some personality disorders, depression, psychosis, and many other mental illnesses. Some persons have even reported that they just had a moment of madness, a moment in which a problem from the past made them snap. It should also be noted that persons in these relationships are emotionally dependent on each other. Despite this, the dysfunctional nature of the relationship, they find it very difficult to leave, very difficult to walk away because they are insisting that they still love each other. Sometimes also, they have invested a lot of time and money and effort into their relationship and they also share property and they share children as well. So they find it difficult to leave. So whilst persons on the outside are expecting that they should leave, they think within themselves that it is difficult to leave. It is challenging. Whilst other persons are unwilling to leave out of fear, they feel threatened by another partner that may be in the relationship. As the factors and the issues are many, the solutions also exist. We should look towards seeking therapy, seeking psychological assistance, seeking professional counseling when we encounter these problems. Also, we should seriously consider separation. If persons are having difficulty maintaining a good relationship separation should be encouraged and should be enforced in order to save lives we should also work towards changing the way we socialize and grow our children we should grow our children to be respectful and loving to each other we should we should also encourage them to seek therapy, to seek professional assistance, professional counseling when they encounter conflict. We should also encourage them to be strong enough to walk away, walk away before causing damage or injury to another person that they love. Relationships are not about who is in charge. It is not about who is in control because it takes two persons to build and maintain a relationship. Therefore, it must be noted, it must be stated, and it must be impressed on our boys and our girls that a relationship means that partners are equal and are therefore equally responsible for the activities that happen in the home. They're also equally accountable for their actions and consultation and communication is necessary. So all things are shared equally. Respect is necessary. Love is paramount. And we must not forget our values nor our morals. And when it gets difficult, we need to move on. We need to separate and we need to seek 
professional guidance and counseling when it gets overwhelming. If we have a mental issue, we can see counseling from churches, from professional counselors in various organizations. We can also see counseling from the police. We can see counseling from persons at our workplace. We can pay for counseling elsewhere. We can talk to persons who will give us good advice. We need to have mentors who we will listen to. It is very important for us to have persons who we can take good advice from and listen to. So again, men and women are equal. They are to be respected and valued. It doesn't matter what level of education. It doesn't matter how much money they have. Neither should their decisions be questioned. All persons' opinions should be valued. And in a relationship, all of these things are paramount. Women, you are not subservient. You are not supposed to stay in a relationship that is abusive. You are not supposed to belittle or berate a man. Basically, your job is to treat the person with equal respect. And you are supposed to expect a similar treatment. You are not supposed to be in a relationship where you are treated as a worthless individual or you are undervalued or you are looked down on you are not an inferior being you have just as much enough worth as the person with whom you are in a relationship with also some persons may need to get some further training so community workers pastors deacons and other persons in the church even some persons who are basically providing psychological professional services or professional counseling services may need retraining to deal with domestic violence and other issues that spin off from this problem. We should also provide psychological education services to professionals and to students. Students should be made aware of the issues that they will face in relationships as they grow older we should also put things in place to ensure that community health services for mental purposes are well equipped to provide support to persons who are in need of mental health care also as a nation we need to address this public health problem that exists and that is seemingly pervading and escalating with mental health. Another solution is that there should be a national public health campaign that targets domestic violence where persons are fully educated about causes, consequences, interventions, referral services, and various other solutions. Students should be taught about domestic violence and all other consequences and referral services that they can use to seek assistance. While they are at school, this can be incorporated in the HFLE program that is already existing in Jamaican schools. Institutions and business places should be encouraged to arrange and organize domestic violence committees to address problems that are raised in various organizations. They could also have an area where they display pamphlets that discuss and address the issue of domestic violence and mental health. They can also provide these services to not only persons that work directly in their organization but to other persons outside of the organization more training needs to be given to persons in the security forces and also persons should also get more training in order to provide professional care and guidance 
to the victims of domestic violence. Persons in the security forces who have committed acts of domestic violence should get psychotherapeutic treatment. And this should be ongoing because discontinuing your treatment can lead to relapse. We should have facilities with trained professionals and facilities that have a safe environment that we can keep children after removing them from homes that have been affected by domestic violence. Victims of domestic violence should be encouraged to seek treatment and should also be forced by the court to refrain from re-entering the home in which they were affected by domestic violence. They should also be forced by the court to seek this ongoing treatment. Eat offenders who continue to commit domestic violence should be mandated to enter psychiatric and psychological treatment facilities. These are similar to rehabilitation centers where they will be trained and where their behavior will be worked on so that they can become better persons in society. Retraining the minds of society, retraining and encouraging victims, retraining first responders, community workers, and security personnel in an effort to address, combat, and eliminate or possibly reduce the effects of domestic violence on our island is paramount. It may be difficult, but it is necessary. And we cannot succeed without trying to make a greater impact on society. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we need to enforce all of these solutions and we need to encourage persons to seek psychological treatment when they encounter difficulties. Sometimes a simple problem can escalate into a huge, gigantic problem that leads to the loss of life. It is very important for our boys and our girls to understand that each person is unique. Each person is special. Each person must be treated fairly and with respect. Each person must be treated with equality. Love is paramount. Thanks for watching.